Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Zach Crypto TV. I'm back again with another crypto news update. If you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below. And if you're not following me yet on X, please make sure to give me a follow. I would really appreciate that. Jumping over to Coin360, Bitcoin is leading the charge at the number one spot with $67,800. $15 as of recording this video ethereum coming in at the second spot at $2,538 XRP coming in at the number seven spot uh, took a little dip right now at 52 cents to the dollar yes so if you're holding please hold it tight uh, this is the roller coaster you go through when you invest in crypto uh, in general the heat map is looking uh, majority of it looks uh, green now, jumping over to X, uh, we have Gary Gensler here. Gary Gensler appeared on Bloomberg and the hostess uh, made sure to remind him that when uh, Trump gets in office, he's going to get fired. Check this out. Talking of disclosures, one disclosure from former President Trump is that he would fire you, ultimately. Unsurprising to you, I'm sure. So, uh, Caroline, I'll let you go to your next question. A lot to get on with and your term is what, until... June 2026, but will it run until then? Many feel that perhaps not. Talking of disclosures, one... Dis <laughs> she was trolling him for days there, man. She was trolling him and he was not having it. He was not impressed. Uh, I also hope Gary Kessler gets fired as soon as Trump or whoever uh, wins the elections, the US elections, uh, gets in office. Now let's jump over to uh, Good Morning uh, Crypto posted here that uh, the SEC requests that that the deadline for filing its principal brief be January 15, 2025. Guys, can you believe this? The SEC continues uh, to drag and drag this uh, case uh, versus uh, Ripple. Let's check out uh, some of the posts or some of the reactions you guys had. From Cryptiano Omar says, um, their aim isn't to secure a victory in court. It's all about dragging the case out for as long as they can. Really, guys, this I have to give this a like, um, a heart rather. But this is true. This is true. They are dragging this case. And yeah, as you can see, Good Morning Crypto came in and reacted and says, you're damn right. Uh, they are dragging this out. And yeah, uh, you got to read this for yourself. I can't read this out loud. But yeah, man, um, everyone in the XRP community is like this right now. We are not happy. We're not impressed with the SEC right now and what they're doing. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Let me know what you think about Gary and his uh, SEC. Yeah, uh, crypto intelligence has this right. They just uh, want to draw this out as long as possible. All they want to is, is um, just drag this out forever and ever. Now, jumping over to this uh, post uh, from James K. Filen. Uh, James K. Filen posted this earlier on uh, saying that... Um, uh, on the Ripple uh, Gov versus, rather, on the SEC Gov versus uh, Ripple, um, Ripple has filed the civil appeal uh, pre-argument statement form C. So the, revel the relevant forms are below. So this is um, the filing. You can pause and read this on your own. You can also pause the video and read this on your own. But what I wanted us to check out was Stuart Aldoradi's. Uh, response um if you don't know who he is he's part of the ripple legal team or the head of the ripple legal team so Ripple filed form c listing the issues we plan to raise on our cross appeal a few things uh, to keep in mind as we move forward the case is not about whether xrp in of in and of itself is a security xrp is uniquely situated as having clarity alongside btc not being classified as a security the sec is not challenging that ruling which stands as law of the land yes guys xrp is not a security that's not what is in dispute the appeals uh, court reviews that record um the record rather that uh, has already been set and we have a great record the sec can't submit new evidence or ask us to produce more meaning there won't be all the drama we had in the litigation when we fought over documents as we go through this process please remember the sec's broader strategy try to create destruction and confusion for ripple and the industry but honestly it's just background noise now 
The hard part of the fight is behind us. Ripple's business is growing and getting stronger every day, even as this appeal process plays out. That's true guys, Ripple is continuing to forge forward and hopefully we're gonna see this uh, case come to an end. Yeah, now jumping over to a post posted by Edo Farina. This is a clip that comes from um, the interview Brad had uh, with um, over at uh, DC Fintech uh, 2024. So let's play the clip and... No matter what happens in this next election, we will have a reset. We can debate the magnitude of that reset and there's lots of disagreement about that. Obviously, Trump came out early and very aggressively in a pro-crypto and said he's the crypto president. Kamala and team Team Harris have been more nuanced. Uh, this week, I think, I think it was this week, uh, they had some of the most constructive things they have said publicly. But look, I, I also, I do think, you know, Kamala Harris is from Silicon Valley. I think she has generally been pro-technology over the years. She has been relatively quiet on the topic. But I think no matter what happens, we're going to see a reset. We're going to see forward progress. And uh, I'm certainly looking forward to that. Yeah. So you are wearing a purple tie, so you're not here to make any endorsements? I, I did endorse John Deaton yesterday. Uh, I mean, I'd already given money to him. So, uh, But look, Elizabeth Warren, I think, has been the most destructive towards this. I mean, she has a web page on her campaign that says, I'm, I'm building a crypto, uh, an anti-crypto army. It's, it's like... Okay, I'm against the technology. I, I've made the joke before, like, why, why would somebody be against a technology? It's like saying, I'm, I'm against email, but you're for email. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Like, you could say, I'm against how crypto is being used, or I'm against something, but, like, to be against a technology, like, te te There you go, guys. There you have it. Brett Gellinghouse uh, there. Uh, good for Brett Gellinghouse for supporting John Deaton. Uh, definitely need Elizabeth Warren out of that office. Now let's check out this uh, last piece of news. Now we're going to cover the XRP memes or the memes on the XRP ledger. Uh, a post here from Edo Farina uh, coming out and saying he just grabbed a bag of XRP forks. And as you can see, the liquidity over there, it's only $7,000 with a market cap of uh, $28,000 US dollars and with only uh, $53,000. XRP of 24 hour volume and there's about uh, 300 plus holders and a huge community uh, He says he's bullish on it. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Let me know which uh, Of these memes are you guys going to be hodling if you're going to be hodling any at all? I know there are mixed reactions in the uh, XRP communities. We have uh, utility mixes uh, Coming out and saying hey you guys are talking about uh, you want to wait for the real utility uh, I don't know what uh, some of uh, you guys clarify as real utility. Maybe you can let me know in the comment section below. Uh, yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but uh, I'm going to be playing around um, first ledger. Yeah, and check out which some of uh, which memes I can grab for myself. Also, this uh, does not constitute financial advice. As of course, uh, please be sure to consult a financial advisor before you make any financial decisions, because you might get wrecked. A lot of people are going to get wrecked because most of the coins that are being listed here don't have that much liquidity. You can only buy some of them. You can't even sell out some of them. They completely go to zero before you sell. I mean, I have a few on my portfolio that I'm watching and some of them have completely gone to zero. Uh, but luckily, all the XRP that I spent there, it's um, all the XRP that I could afford to lose. And the fees that you pay on this network, it's uh, almost free so yeah there's nothing to cry home about so let me know what you guys think about uh, today's video what memes are you guys holding if you are into any of that or you are utility maxi i don't know what you're waiting for maybe you're waiting for um the the the, the institutions to come in and for xrp to move uh cross-border payments i don't know what kind of um uh, shift or move uh, some of you guys are waiting for but um, I want to find out so please make sure to hit me up in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next update. Peace